Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic in our discussion series of ARDS and that is prone ventilation. Today we will discuss about the physiology and the benefit that to derive and the reason behind it in prone ventilation. Let us go straight into it. Prone ventilation, right. So let us discuss from this diagram. So this is a patient who is lying supine, right. So this is the ventral aspect, there lies the sternum and this is the dorsal aspect and there lies the vertebras. This is the chest wall with pleura and this is the lungs and the heart, right. Now what happens in an ARDS patient when he lies supine? Let us see. So first point will be the weight of the mediastinum. So this whole part is the mediastinum. So the weight of the mediastinum will be on the dorsal aspect of the lung. Right? Now what else? This will compress the dorsal aspect of lung and same will be for heart. The heart's weight also will be transmitted to dorsal aspect, right. Third, what happens? Because of the disease process, this is a non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema. The lung is now wet with fluid, W-E-T, wet. So its wet, W-E-I-G-S-T, will be compressing the lung downward. So the lung is now wet. And because of the wet lung, the lung worries on itself or collapses on its own weight, right. So all these three things, what they will do is, they decrease the inflation of basal alveoli. How? Because, because of this weight, the intra-alveolar pressure, the P alveoli, will increase. When the P alveoli of the dorsal alveoli, they increase, that translates to a decreased transpulmonary pressure. So what is the transpulmonary pressure? Transpulmonary pressure is equal to P alveoli minus P pleura. So when the P alveoli increases, that decreases the transpulmonary pressure. When it decreases, that leads to decreased inflation, right, of dorsal alveoli. So all this will lead to increase in shunt because decreased inflation will lead to collapse or atelectasis and that will cause shunt and because of this collapse in atelectasis the lung volume will decrease overall and when the lung volume decreases if you give the same tidal volume now because these persons are not ventilated so the healthy person will be ventilated with a larger tidal volume so that will lead to over distension of those part of the lung that causes increase in VQ mismatch right so there will be increase in shunt and increase in VQ mismatch right and all this thing will cause de-recruitment decrease oxygenation 
of course they all will cause vili ventilator induced lung injury this is very very important so same thing happens here also the number 4 point will be the abdominal organs will compress on the basal and dorsal aspect right so that will also cause decrease tpp and shunt so while all were doing this the volume of the lung the baby lung size further decreases and we, because we are giving the same total volume there will be over distension and vacuum mismatch so there will be shunt vacuum mismatch de recruitment decrease oxygenation and villi right fifth fifth thing is in supine position the thoracic wall assumes a triangular shape right so this is a triangular the thoracic or chest wall it assumes a triangular shape so because of this triangular shape there will be three things what are the three things number 1 there will be in homogeneous chest wall compliance distribution from top to bottom there will be in homogeneous chestal compliance distribution from top to bottom so from here to here the chestal compliance distribution will not be uniform because of this triangular shape right and second thing what will happen the distribution of trans pulmonary pressure will also not be uniform because it also depends upon the chestal compliance or the pleural pressure if the pleural pressure is not uniform so the trans pulmonary pressure will not will also not be uniform so that means there will be more atelectasis of the dorsal lungs that adds to all of these things so this inhomogeneous chestal compliance will lead to a inhomogeneous pleural pressure gradient that will lead to a inhomogeneous tpp and more atelectasis so these are the problems that we encountered now how to solve this the solution is to prone the patient so when you prone the patient what happens so all these three the weight of the mediastinum weight of the heart weight of the lung before it was compressing upon the dorsal aspect of the alveoli or the lungs now because patient is prone they act in the opposite direction making the dorsal aspect free so now the dorsal aspect of the lung is free so that means there is more a recruitment of dorsal aspect of the lung that is because there is increase in tpp because now the intraalveolar pressure increases because the weight effective weight is gone so now the alveolar pressure increases that increases the tpp which causes recruitment and inflation of the alveoli in the base same thing for when the patient is prone the effect of the effect of pressure from intra abdominal organs is gone so the base and dorsal lungs are now free right 
so that is the reason why there is increase in TPP transpulmonary pressure so increase in inflation right so there is a recruitment correct so because of this all phenomenon a recruitment so the size of baby lung which was there previously now its size increases why because they recruit the de-recruited lung the collapsed lung now they're open now they're taking part actively in the oxygenation and ventilation process so now before there is a small lung which is participating now when you prone the patient all this dorsal aspect of the lung or the base of the lung they are also coming into action so that increases the size of the baby lung which in turn decreases the VQ mismatch of course decreases sunt recruits increases perfusion to that part increases oxygenation right increases compliance everything so these are the proposed benefit of running another thing very very important when patient was supine the thoracic or chest was triangular now when you prone the patient it assumes a shape of a rectangular right so when it is rectangular what it does it it makes the chest wall compliance uniform that means the pleural pressure gradient is now more uniform that means the trans pulmonary pressure gradient homogenized that means there is inflation of alveoli and that increases the size of baby lung and when the size of baby lung increases we have all these things the very popularly called safe matching before it was triangular now it is rectangular so the shape is now matched because there is shape matching we find a lot of benefit in our patients so in this way you can see in an ARDS patient when he supine how the problems are generated and in, when we prone the same patient how all this problem can be shot out in a single shot in a single procedure the all the problem of supining can be taken care of so this is a very very vital procedure that has to be done in ARDS patient in every ARDS patient who does not respond to lung protective ventilation in the first place right so in the next class we'll discuss how to practically what are the practical things that you have to remember while we are proning a patient the precautions the method all we will discuss right thank you very much